The controversy in Malaysia over pig DNA found in halal-certified chocolate has spread beyond Cadbury. Some 800 Muslim traders will now pull all products from the Kraft Foods stable, of which Cadbury is one, off the shelves. In demand and certified halal, Cadbury products have long been favourites of these Muslim traders. But the relationship fast turned sour after traces of pig DNA were found in two batches of Cadbury's locally produced chocolate. We are dumping Cadbury. But it's not just Cadbury that's being binned. The Malaysian Muslim Wholesalers and Retailers Association has directed their 800 members to take all of Kraft Foods' other products off the shelves as well. These include household brands like Jacobs, Chipsmore, Oreo and Twisties. Cadbury has already pulled the two contaminated batches of chocolate after the health ministry announced its pig DNA findings last week. But rumours of the tainted chocolate had been swirling on social media days before. Muslim retailers are now calling on all Malaysians, regardless of race or religion, to unite in a boycott of all Cadbury and Kraft products. This is strictly within the Food Act and a violation of the Food Act and a violation of trust of Malaysian. Yeah? Because halal is only for Muslims. What about the vegetarians? who have been eating this Cadbury chocolate. They feel betrayed also. Apa yang uh, di, di, dihadapi oleh orang Islam sekarang ini akan juga akan dihadapi oleh kaum-kaum yang lain di Malaysia ini. But some Malaysians feel a boycott of all craft products may be a little extreme. It's a bit too much because they're pulling off everything else but they have no proof that one has DNA. They should just experiment, experiment to find out. Kami Malaysia ni ramai peminat Cadbury juga Termasuk saya uh, Saya rasa tak patut boykot lah Kira Jakim kena pantau balik uh, Check apa semua bagi Dia kembali kepada normal lah Cadbury Malaysia says it's focusing its efforts and resources On doing just that It's working closely with religious authorities To ensure all its products are compliant with halal guidelines Smisha Naidu, Channel News Asia, Kuala Lumpur